Bro, have you seen Ocelotl yet? <laughs> He's kind of a native animal-themed hero. I mean, South America, Me uh, Mesoamerican native, but still native. He's definitely got an animal thing going, that old jaguar thing. They do not like Star Wars, but I love Gundam. That's fair. They did because BlackRock is one of their shareholders. Well, it's still a shame on them. Hello, Nightmare. Hold on, I'm late to the party. What's going on with 40K? They made female custodies. New Transformer trailer is completely trash. Well, good thing I don't care about Transformers. Never have. Just not my thing. <sighs> A little tired. Maybe they can do an African warrior? Uh, Medjai is technically African since so he's from Egypt, but I know what you mean. I have returned Raven for making food. Cool. A bit of lore for my space marines. The raptors of the shadows once managed to give the custodies a heart attack. Ooh. Well, a bit of lore for my, uh, uh, sisters of the sacred spear. Um, they actually, uh, Kill Xenos. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> mm. Sad reality people hating females in games like Bra too bad. I don't hate females in games. I don't hate females in games. I play females in games a lot. I don't mind them. They've just gotta make sense. It's confirmed the new heroes conqueror. How'd you know that? Anywho, anywho. How'd you know that, Josh? You know there's a problem when Spaceballs is unironically the best sci-fi setting right now? No, no. Helldivers 2, currently. Raven, what if we had a Shinigate hero come out with a tomahawk and an acoustic? Make it different from Shaman, and I'm okay with it. What kind of hero would you like to see them give, Raven? A Rajput. I want to see a Rajput hero. Raven defended Varengian when no one else would. Yeah, I I stood up for Varengian. Everyone was losing their mind. Yeah, it's a female hero. We don't like the female Varengian. It's not historically accurate. I'm like, no, it's not historically accurate, but it's still good. I made it up. I thought it was Mods I mean, what what are you surprised about? I'll tell you what I'll tell you what the real problem was. I'll tell you what the real problem was. They weren't upset because of the historical inaccuracy. That's not the reason. They were upset. Because they wanted a Viking hero who met their stereotypical view. You know, the long beard, big helmet, big weapon, burly, and all that. And then they got a female, and they're like, we're not happy with it. And they use the excuse of it's not What'd historically you guys accurate. Think but I could turn the, that around uh, on them very easily. I could, say, hero fest. Well, I, I could turn that around very quickly on them and say, okay, well, there are certain things we see in other characters that are not historically accurate. Like Shaolin being able to teleport, Ocelotl being able to come back from the dead, Shugoki... Um, wearing the armor he Yo, does. I'm excited. Like, there's a That's lot right. of things in this game that aren't historically accurate, but you guys don't have a problem with that. Suddenly, this is the one that you get held up on? Be honest. It's not I'm just uploading the TikTok really quickly. Gets you. I've had people tell me constantly, history doesn't matter in this game. It's a fantasy game. History doesn't matter. But suddenly, we make a character female who wasn't supposed to be female. Now you care about historical accuracy. Now, be consistent. If it's an issue of historical accuracy, be consistent with that point. If it's not, just say what you really think. Say that you don't like the fact that you wanted a big male Viking and you got a female. And all I can say to that is two things. Number one, I can play a female and have no problem with it. You're well, the can one I watch the stream directly? Just a big, I have a few bones to pick. Um, uh, Twitch.tv slash for on a game. That, the other side of that coin is this. Um, you are having trouble being able to... Like, I, I just think that... It'll come on soon. No, nah, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. I'm going to stop myself there before I say something I regret. <laughs> um, let's, let's move on. They care about historical accuracy. When They're going to read your comment. Exactly. <laughs> it has nothing to do with historical accuracy. That is accuracy. savage. It has everything to do with it wasn't what I wanted. Oh, 
Oh, cool. Watching Raven Knight. That guy's awesome. Yeah, Raven's he's pretty cool. Gay, that's really... I'm calling he's it right. like I is. It's, it's kind of right. like when that... You know what it's like? You know what it's like? I'll be honest. You know what it's like? It's like when they release The Unknown. What are they doing to Highlander? They like that new killer who looked absolutely horrific. When oh, I saw that sad. killer, I was like, oh, man. That's scary, dude. That guy looks horrifying. He's such a scary looking killer. I was like, you know, I'm going to pull it right now. The Unknown. Buff Pirate, I agree. Yeah, PK Hero yeah. Fest uh, dropped like two hours ago. Where is he? Come on, don't hide him. Y'all trying to hide him now? Y'all trying to hide him because of what happened? Come on. Yeah, it dropped like two hours yeah, ago. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Okay, um, that's my boy. That's our unknown. Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing? Welcome to a new video so yeah, and welcome to Peace. Horrifying. Dis ba -ma 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 new finisher so let's check it out and it's called is that sprightly sprightly skewer all right let's take a look Ooh, it would okay. look better with blood obviously let's check it out from the other perspective youtube doesn't like blood so oh just a quick okay just a quick Terrifying. stab is that like in the inside of the leg or the, the stomach fucking ball sack mate straight in the mm. ball sack just a quick straight stab in the and then ball sack, straight mate. to the back yeah there we go. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. I'm late. Who was the skin for? Uh, we don't know yet. We'll find out when it starts. Pirate does not need a buff. Yes, she does. I was just watching your PK vid. Nice. Good shit, bro. You a real one. He did a good quick one for her lately. I'm not complaining. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty brutal. Pretty, pretty fast. Pretty stylish. I like it, man. I like it. But yeah, we might we might see the Highlander rework drop next week, maybe. Hopefully. It's been it's been a it's been too long now, you know. Kinda needs to just hurry up and drop it. Don't you think? Kinda just needs to hurry up and fucking drop that shit, man. So hopefully. Is Aramusha still viable? Uh yeah. Yeah, Aramush is okay. Are you on Europe servers? Somehow I've never played against you. Yes, I'm on Europe servers. Fuck the rework. It's better than... Nah, I, I think it's better than the fucking Highlander that we have right now. So, honestly, I'd be happy for them to just fucking hurry up and drop it. They've messed with Lobringer so much. They just, I don't know, they can't get him right, can they? Your collection looks sick. Yo, cheers, man. You have another uh, channel where you do variety of gaming? I do. But... I haven't updated it for a while, but I do plan to use it more. The second channel is usually in um, the description of my videos. The channel is called More Havoc. You faced one with S. Yeah, well, one with S is NA, so I'm I'm EU, so that's why you've never faced me. Boom, 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 boom. Da, 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 da. You streaming on Twitch? No, no. No, I, I keep the Warriors Den just on YouTube. 
Did I miss the warriors then? No, it starts in about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. That's in about 35 minutes. Well, the countdown starts in 35 minutes. The actual show starts on the hour, but they do like a 10 minute countdown, so. Do you do 1v1s? Yeah, that's mainly what I play in For Honor. What's up, Mag? How are you doing? Buff Law, I agree. I agree, I agree. The law definitely needs a buff. Can I get a beard like yours? Maybe. It depends, man. I, I cut mine a little bit. It was a bit bushier and longer, but I, I cut it not long ago. Like, trimmed it down a little bit. Hop on jewels? Maybe. I, I don't know. I'd rather just chat with you guys for a little bit. You know what I mean? How do I like... Can, how do I... Is there any way that I can... Maybe I'll do. I'll update this thumbnail because... Uh, it's pretty shit. I haven't seen solo leveling yet, but I do want to watch it. No, oh, not that one. <laughs> Stop dating my thumbnail, man. I hate the blue edges on the thing when I take a picture. I hate these blue edges. I don't know where to stop them though. I don't know to get rid of the blue edges, man, without like putting it. You know what I mean? Why does she look weird in that pose, man? Looks stretched, but she's not. You know what I mean? Nah, I don't like that picture. I am with your daughter. What? The 
fuck? What a weird comments that you gimp. What Photoshop channel confirmed? <laughs> Centurion Hero skin would be dope. I agree. I agree. Yo, what's up, Joseph? How you doing? <laughs> imagine, yeah, imagine if Warden gets the third skin. Bro. Should I put, like, new Warden skin? Like, just get some fucking AI of, like, a knight or something. <laughs> Hold on. PNG twat. Or is it? What's this shit, man? Click bait more views. <laughs> Maybe. We will permit you to clickbait us. Appreciate it. What's up, Harry? What's up? Yeah, it starts in like... The countdown starts in like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Eat a cheeseburger. Oh, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm not hungry right now. Pull, <laughs> pull a Kenzo and put the same fucking... Shock face in every thumbnail. I actually did that once for a joke. I did that once for a joke. I can't remember which video it was. Which video was it? Oh, this one. <laughs> <laughs> I used fucking Kenzo's hat and white shirt and everything. Uh, I did that for a joke. Fucking nicked his fucking hat. This is proper bad clickbait, this. This is bad clickbait, though. <laughs> nah, this is bad. 
Fuck it. <laughs> this is bad clickbait, man. Third one hero skin? <laughs> Not like this. No. <laughs> that was pretty bad clickbait, isn't it? <laughs> Third one hero skin, man. Make it a bit shorter. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that was bad. Not the question mark. I know, right? <laughs> Is the new skin for? We don't know yet. We don't know. We're not sure yet. Warden needs to get that new move, man. I hope they add it soon. Oh, I put Warriors then. Fucking hell, why didn't no one tell me? Fucking Warriors then, mate. Oh, somebody did say it in the chat. All right, shout out to you, man. I'm betting, I'm betting 10 pounds it's Peacekeeper. I got clickbaited by the Warden skin. Yo, welcome, welcome on in, man. <laughs> welcome, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's going to be Peacekeeper as well. It's either um, Peacekeeper or Centurion. Peacekeeper or Centurion, man. Did you see Zanny's new front video? I did, I did, I did. Hey, did you see me uh, humble this guy on fucking... I don't know if you guys saw, but I humbled a motherfucker. All right, hold on. Um, So, this is actually unlisted. So this guy, I don't know, I, you might have seen it on last last night's stream. This guy was chatting shit, right? So we fucking humbled the motherfucker. Oh, I can't play it. I can't play it because it's copyright. Copyright music. I'm not going to be able to play it on stream. Fuck. Never mind. I'll tell you what. If you go to my TikTok. No, actually, if you go to my Twitter. If you go to my Twitter, it's it's here. It's on my Twitter. My Twitter is Havoc FH. Havoc FH. Yeah, I posted it here. I can't play it though because of the fucking copyright music. Havoc, if someday the Ferrani team wanted to do a skin of your Punisher, would you agree? Of course. Fucking damn right I would, bro. Fucking. Oh, absolutely, but they wouldn't do that. They would, they've been, there's no. There's no point. Or is Dan my favorite holiday? <laughs> Yeah, I suppose I could like play it muted, but it doesn't have to see. Oh, Hmm. 
not the light. Oh, not the not the shoulder bash fainting to zone. The most powerful move of them of them all. Nice dodge though. Nice, nice back dodge. Nice light parry attempt though, you know what I'm saying? Jeej lad. Jeej man, jeej. No copyright. Fuck off. <laughs> Bingy chilling. <laughs> Yo, Billy, you okay, bro? How's it going? <laughs> Need a fourth warden hero skin. <laughs> oh, man. They should just do it for the memes, man. Like, oh. Imagine. Imagine the fucking outrage if they did a third Warden skin. Imagine the fucking outrage. Oh, it would be so worth it, man. <laughs> it would be so worth it, bro. Honestly. God, it'd be so good. Yeah, Warden doesn't have enough hero skins. I agree. Two's not enough. We need three for sure. We need that variety. Oh, the hook. Yeah, that was like typing in between hugs. That was a funny video. That was like one of the most like that was some of the most fun I'd, I'd had in a long time. I, I really don't, I really just hope the hero skin isn't Lawbringer or just Lawbringer to be honest. I hope it's not Lawbringer. I'd be happy if it was PK, Centurion. I'd even be happy if it was Gladiator. I'd be a bit eh if it was Conk, but I wouldn't be too, too bothered. But if it if it's Lawbringer, I'll be super disappointed. But I think it's gonna be PKR Centurion. <laughs> Hoping it's sent. I would definitely prefer it to be Centurion out of the two. Out of PK and Scent, I'd, I'd choose Scent. Centurion's one of my highest rep characters. I've got him at like nearly rep 40, so... Like, I would play him a lot. PK is buffed with this update. Uh, no, she got buffed last, last update, right, I think? Is that right? Pretty sure she got buffed last update. Am I the only one wishing for BK? No, no, there's, there's quite a few, um, there's quite a few BK mains, to be honest. Imagine if it was Conqueror. Yeah, I wouldn't be too bad. Highlander hero skin? Well, we've already got a Highlander hero skin. We've got Maddox. And it's not. It's it's definitely a knight anyway. It's a knight confirmed, and um, the next one's samurai. Next season hero skin samurai. I reckon that's gonna be a Rochi. Is the is this update gonna have the new warden zone? I hope so. 
I hope so. Like, I don't know for sure, but I hope so, bro. Like, I'd be very happy. I'm getting a phone call. One second. All right, sorry about that. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, Saint, thank you for the membership, bro. I appreciate that very much. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> that made me laugh. They were on a call about the third one, the Eros kid. <laughs> we're talking about pancakes. He's on a call with the devs making sure he knows not to spoil the fucking character skin. <laughs> Yo, Almeida, I'm good. How are you? How are you? Channel 5 News. Oh, what's up, bro? I remember bumping into you quite often in matchmaking. What's up, man? How you doing? Uh, what are your predictions for the hero skin? Well, it's 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 the third warden hero skin. So it's already it's already been leaked. Check the thumbnail, man. The third, uh, third Warden Hero skin. Do you want to see it? Fucking looks sick, mate, to be honest. Yo, check it out, man. Fucking third Warden Hero skin. It actually goes pretty hard, man. Seriously. I didn't get it off Google. Honestly, it's it's a leak. Yeah. Bro, why? Because Warden, man. Warden's the face of Frana. It's He's the poster boy. Makes sense, you know. Plus, the fa their favorite con you know, their favorite content creator is is me, so they have to look after me as well.
It's, it's sick, isn't it, man? I can't wait to get my hands on it, bro, to be honest. <laughs> bro. Yo, what's up, Rawit? Yeah, it looks sick, doesn't it? <laughs> me, me when I spread misinformation. <laughs> I wish there was a way that I could like pin this. Guys, is there any any IT nerds? Is there any way that I can pin this window over the top of anything that I do? So for example, like I've just clicked off on something else and it's gone to the back. Is there any way that I can like fully keep this on top of everything? Like, you know what I mean? Drag it to the right side of the screen. Bro. It just it just disappears. Drag the bar to the side. No, that doesn't work. No, so I want this chat to stay on top of everything. So like, for example, I'm clicking on this window now. It's gone. It's gone to the back. What I want is to stay on top of everything. Windows plus. Wait, what does that even mean? Alt and enter. Press control and F1. Oh my God. Control and F11. That didn't do anything for me. Alt and enter. Oh shit. What was that? Oh shit. Five fucking pounds. Let's go, man. Yo, poor Mr. Beast. Poor, poor Mr. Beast is called. The guy that just donated five pound. Poor Mr. Beast. Oh my god, I love that. Can't send you five hundred, so he is five. <laughs> I love that. Yo, cheers, bro. I'm gonna play that again because that's pretty funny. Oh my god! No! Oh my god! Can't send you five hundred, so he is five. Wait. There was a little, there was a little gif. What was that? Let me check that out again. <laughs> oh my God. Mr. Beast jump scare. What the fuck? Oh Can't send you five hundred, so here's five. F eleven. What the fuck? Yo, cheers for the five, bro. I appreciate that. Alt and F4, bro, I'll ban you. Don't troll me. Windows, Control T. Nope. You know what? I'll just fucking Google it, shall I? What the fuck just happened? Select the window you want to keep on top and press Control and F1. That did not work for me at all. Not, not F1, fucking F11, I'm stupid. That didn't work. Alt and space keys. Guys, I, I know it says F1. I'm trying to 
Controlling the F11 isn't doing anything. This does not work. Control space. That doesn't doesn't work. Nothing works. All right, fuck it. I don't care. to OBS cheese it. Wait, what, what does that mean? Third Warden Hero skin? Yeah, man. Fucking well happy, lads. I'm well happy. <laughs> I'm so happy, man. Oh, shit. Mr. Sun gone with a gifted. Cheers, bro. I appreciate that. Fucking John Delaney got the mess uh the membership out of everyone. That's 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 rigged. <laughs> that is rigged, man. Yo, stun uh stun gun, I appreciate the gifted bro man. Much love. How's it going? I'm good, thank you, thank you. I'm good, man. Oh the countdown starts uh literally one minute. Why does that keep scrolling? Why'd you keep scrolling down? Hello? Can you fucking not, please? Thank you. Eh. Oh, wait. It started for a second there, but it kind of shit itself a little bit. I'm going to put you guys over Twitch chat because we don't care about Twitch chat. <laughs> Actually, I'll put you over here because I can't see you properly. Yeah, I've given up with the whole pinning thing now, guys. I can't be asked with it. It's doing me adding. I've given up with it. Twitch chat is trolling. I actually, I actually hate Twitch chat. I'm going to get rid of it. Bunch of cretins, man. Nah, I'm only kidding. Who's ready for an AC skin? I think the new hero skin is going to be Griffin. Didn't the, did the countdown not start? It did. All right, sweet. Yeah. Oh, guys, I forgot about that new game, that no rest for the wicked. It looks fucking really, really nice. Peggy 18. This game so looks really nice. It's true. The king is dead. It's yeah, yeah, we don't care about that. Show me the gameplay. The it's like a top-down Dark Souls, man. It's like an... 
like an RPG, it's kind of top down Dark Souls. It, it looks fucking clean, man. It looks so nice. Would you guys be interested in me streaming this sometime? Maybe like tonight or tomorrow or something? I don't know. I could try and get early access. Oh man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody gets it. Yeah, it looks really nice, like visually. Visually very pleasing. Oh man, that boss looks creepy. Yeah, looks looks very nice that. Is it gonna be for PS5 as well? I I'm not sure. Oh you want that oh it's doing that crackling thing again. Is it doing that crackling thing again? Music's a bit too loud. Nah, I don't think so. I don't hear the crackling. I, I heard it a little bit, but it's not there anymore. It's not doing it now. It did it for literally a split second. <laughs> First skin for Warden. <laughs> you know Mana Lords? Um, no, I don't think... I I've heard of it, actually. I'm not sure, though. Are you going to play Elden Ring DLC? Oh, yes, of course. We'll be playing that non-stop. Every day, video every day, stream every day for the DLC. Champion Gundia, Gundia skin for Griffin. Oh, bro, that would be fucking sick, actually. That would genuinely be fucking sick, man. Next collab when? Uh, I don't know, man. Everyone's always busy, man. Like, I messaged Nova King a few days ago. He didn't get back to me. John's always working. Supporting the family. Gotta respect that. Uh, I don't really want to fucking collab with, I don't know, anyone else. I, really like, I like John. I like Nova. I, I mean, I like Kenzo, but he's... I don't think he's playing much these days. He's grinding the fucking NBA games, man. I'll probably I'll probably collab with some like Twitch streamers or something. Maybe. Or some TikTokers, maybe. You think Warden is gonna get that animation? I hope so, bro. Like i I'm I'm hoping so. I'll collab if you're ever up at three in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I might get I might get together with Zani and play for a video, maybe. Have you ever collabed with Faram? Yeah, a few times. Collab with Slanderous, number one whiner. Oh god. <laughs> he actually reached out to me for to go on one of his videos, but I kinda blanked him. <laughs> it feels bad. <laughs> kind of blanked him, man. Blanked him like a blanked fucking King Flangelus. Yo, what's up, Raven? Remember when An remember when Angelus started giving me a load of shade and, and shit for no reason just because I fucking didn't want to collab with him. <laughs> I don't know man. You'd you'd think like after three of 
two, three years, you'd get the message, you know what I mean? Did you hear that crackling, or is it just me? <laughs> Left on read. Yeah, he started giving me a load of shit, man. No, it's not. It's not. It's the fucking switch. I promise you, it's not my earphones. Therefore, heard a bit of crackling. There you go, and you all weren't fucking going mad. Now do you send in havoc pics? Yeah, I know. Where is she? She did, she did that thing. She does that thing where, like, when you pop up, it sends like a message to people. Like, mine, mine is sent you a message as well. Every time, every time I go live, people get that havoc YT sent you a message. Gets people clicking on it, you know? It's, it's smart. It's, it's smart, man. Nah, I wouldn't touch that with yours, to be honest. I wouldn't touch that with yours, John. Wouldn't go near that, mate, to be honest. Yo, what's up? Hi, I'm good, man. How, how are you? What's your weirdest Twitch message? I don't know, man. I'm not gonna go through them right now though on stream. Fuck that, because there could be a, there could be some like weird shit, like or some NDA shit or something, or some private shit. I don't know, man. I ain't gonna look at my whispers right now. Fuck that. Did you hear that crackling? Did you hear it? Right. Just listen. I'm not gonna say anything. Just listen. Listen. Shh. Do you hear that? There you go. Do you hear that? Listen. Yeah. That was a bad one. There's no way you didn't hear that. If you didn't hear that, then you need to go to and get your fucking ears checked out, man. You guys, you guys are disappearing now. Say goodbye, everyone. You lot are going over here now, onto the second monitor. If I can full screen this baby. I was right, I fucking told you, I weren't tripping. Boyers, Ooh. we are back live to blow out your eardrums and <laughs> bring you everything that has to do with year eight, season one, TU2. But a first, <laughs> Nolan, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Brian. How are you? I'm fantabulous, man. Fantabulous. Uh, I just, I yeah. love Brian's like, hair, that's bro. Such a good yeah. I'm actually so jealous of his hair. New vernacular for today. That's that's always good. Oh yeah, I fell asleep to a history podcast. Woke up to a history podcast. I'm doing great. Just diving into history today. This is good. Yeah. So uh, right, to I'm just jump off and jump right into it, let's do a I quick recap hair, of what you can expect in the upcoming title update. So there's everything that happened in uh, TU1. Uh, despite skin? how you may play for honor, I at least you hope might? you can read uh, oh, English, <laughs> even if you can't read in game. Um, and then here's everything coming in title update two. We got a new hero skin. We've got cathedral converted map. Warden, Warden third hero skin. Let's yeah. Go. 
We've got new armor variations. We've got a throwback event, a trio of Hero Fests, and Hyper Duel throwback. I event. like Hyper Duels. So it's I'm really excited. Good. I like Hyper Duels. Hyper uh, Duels are great. Yeah. Every, every time we do this, people are like, just replace regular duels with this. So yeah, hopefully you on. guys enjoy it. <laughs> That's um, actually not a bad idea. Be, uh, happy to see uh, all your feedback on all the things yeah. once they're out. But Nolan, I believe there's more coming today. That's right, because if you look up, there's something dropping today. There's the a volume, Twitch guys. Drop. That's right, I feel folks. okay. Now, you've heard me say this before, but I'm going to say it again anyway. If can you, you have not linked your UbiConnect account to your Twitch account, what are you doing? Please do that so you can get all the awesome drops, because for every 30 minutes you're going to get a uh, Basically, crate. like... And at the end of the show, we're going to pick some lucky winners. It's first to five. Prize of either 100k steal or... You kill your opponent, and if you spawn straight away. Skin, which is just... It's oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's choice. It is quite choice. Yes. yes. And you you stay on the well, HP that you was on before. In the, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. No. no so you have to try and go for executions I mean. to try and get health back. <laughs> There's always more. There's always more. It's us. It's really good. I like <laughs> anyway, it. Anyway, uh, we got a lot to cover in this den. So coming right up, we've got all the year eight season one TU two details, les details, uh, that we want you to know about. But before that, we've got a little old sneak peek that is very much linked to uh, Assassin's Creed. So what? we're gonna show you right now. Oh. Enjoy! Gotcha. All right, let's do it, man. Requiescat in pace. Take a leap of faith. Wow, they actually did it. They actually did the Ezio skin? Wow, they did. Holy shit, they did. No, they didn't. It's just an event. It's, it's, it's the event. That's not the hero skin. Oh, fuck me, it is. Holy shit, okay. Oh my days, it is. I can't believe they did that. <laughs> no way, man. Holy fuck, they actually did it, man. No way, man. So, I kind of like this because of... I, I explained before. This kind of, they, they can kind of solve the issue now of gender lock characters. Because if they give like hero skins with different genders to characters that are gender locked, so they they could they could give us like a female warlord skin in the future. They could give us a female Shigoki skin in the future. Like we could get, we've just got a male peacekeeper. Think about it, man. We could get like I don't know a male Valkyrie. Male shaman. It opens the possibility to fix the whole fucking gender lock thing that everybody complains about. Obviously, they would just need to add like different voice lines. Obviously, Ezio is not gonna fucking sound like female PK. Do you know what I mean? But I, I feel like it's good, man. I, I feel like it's a good thing. Like some people might be disappointed, but try and think about it like that. I think it's a good thing, and it, like I said, it, it that might be the path that they're going down. So I'm kind of happy with that, man. Come to think of it, though, so the next hero skin samurai, right? So what gender lock samurai do we have right now? What gender lock samurai do we have? Oh, just Shigoki, Nabushi. Welcome back, everybody. All the warriors out there. Today, we are uh, welcoming Lucia? once again on the couch, Mr. Stefan. How are you doing? Wonderful. Season one's been awesome so far, and title update two is going to be even better. So, hyped. Yes. Also, Alex is back. We're happy to have her again. And for the first time ever on the den, Amelie, Hello. welcome to the show. Yeah. So, we could get <laughs> over to the couches. a different gender version like of uh, <laughs> those. But yeah, we've got, a, we've got a lot to uh, cover. I'm today. down for that. So, honestly. why don't we just quite uh, kick it off with you, Stefan? 
Uh, well, thank you very much. Of course, you've seen today we're going to, or one week from now, I guess. He's we keeping welcome, hero skin, Ezio uh, Armando. Very first cross Crazy. Hero skin with Ezio. Holy course, shit. It's Assassin's actually pretty Creed. clean. Yes. Uh, so super hyped. This will be a Peacekeeper hero skin. Uh, you're hyped I, as well? I yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> the stabby stabby everywhere. Stabby stabby. You got to stabby yeah. here. You got to stabby here. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so amazing. This is, of course, our iconic character from Assassin's Creed franchise, our friends upstairs. Uh, so it's wonderful to have uh, Ezio able to come into For Honor. Yeah, it's pretty it's clean. Great for You've players. got to admit. They can try it out on their Peacekeeper. Um, and it's looking crispy. Yes. I, like, I, I believe I believe you had a hand in that, yeah? It my, is clean. My team did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the character team uh, really went and they remade this armor. Uh, so a lot of the pieces, they had to add on to it. Things like the bracer with the, uh, the hidden it's blade. It's clean. Um, come on. Make, make that a little bit uh, more... Uh, in the style of this game um, and retextured everything. The face is original. Uh, the weapons are original. They're all based off of things that were in Assassin's Creed. And we're really very proud of how it turned out. Yeah, I think this is the H-est and the D-est that uh, Ezio has ever, ever been. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's really cool to see uh, Mr. Aratore in, in For Honor and, and looking, uh, looking sharp, looking, looking crispy. Uh, um. So, uh, Amelie. What makes this skin special? So special to f yeah. the world of Frog. Uh, so for uh, for me, I really wanted for the player to feel like uh, they're experiencing um, uh, Ezio like we always have in uh, in uh, Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So it was really to uh, investigate in the um, how it was uh, portrayed in this game. So I make uh, I watch a lot of references of the oh. old game and the. Um, and we talk about the, with the mocap actor um, that worked on Assassin's Creed before. And we come to the conclusion that the best thing to change was the navigation. So like all new characters, we went to mocap. We oh. shoot some uh, new animation uh, for the walk, the jug, the idol, and the sprint. Bit. And then integrate it to the game. Um, uh, so uh, the, oh, the, be shit. the best challenge was to um, That's cool. keep the animation of Peacekeeper and uh, Ezio and merge them together because uh, we keep in the combat system like we see here so it's staying the same so uh, everything's going to be uh, uh, the same for oh, him sick. except for the drop attack so the drop attack is going to be unique to him uh, and it's going to stay for him forever like oh the drop attack's here, unique cool oh that's play. sick man so uh, it's very fun and uh, a new unique thing too is the Assassin's Creed 2 animation style was like a bit old so it was a very uh, hard challenge to like integrate it to a foreigner universe with our motion matching system. So uh, I think we did a pretty good job with it. Yeah, new voice lines, um, yeah, of The course. next thing that we changed was the uh, some unique execution, emote and signature. Uh, we adjust oh, a lot of hand position, contact, and we add a little uh, as you uh, feeling to them as well. Uh, thanks to Michelle for the help as well. And so they weren't lazy uh, with this, man. For us, it was our first uh, gender swap hero skin. I mean? So I think uh, we did a pretty good job with that. And I'm really happy uh, to, uh, for you to try it. It looks phenomenal. Yes. And just like, uh, so like Assassin's Creed 2 is the first game that I like launched with Ubisoft way back when. And put so the effort in, man. Do you mean? That there are things from like 15 years ago and just the tech and how much has changed in the industry between now and then. And like, I can't imagine the challenges yes. that you guys had in uh, in trying to bring that to uh, a much more modern game, like yeah. For Honor. Um, but yeah, so uh, for the very first time with a hero skin, we have added authentic VO uh, for the Ezio skin uh, because we wanted to make Ezio feel like he belonged in the game and not have it be, uh, you know, just like, oh, those are canned lines that we've heard, uh, you know, from other games. And then uh, like all hero skins, you'll be able to change the color and material. However, there is a color that is the default color for the skin that is specific to Ezio. So oh, this is also cool. kind of like a first for us. So um, if, if you want the white and the red in, there, in those specific hues, that is only available to the Ezio skin. Uh, so even if you colors. buy the skin on Peacekeeper, that, uh, that color uh, combo and in those specific hues will only be there on the Ezio uh, hero Shows skin. the color palettes. And so... Uh, they, they look really great, and it's a nice way for us to make sure that the skin always has that, that unique yeah, thing I love it. that is only there for it. Um, and But yeah, be sure to check out the skin because it I drops it. next week. It's uh, it'll great. be available for $14.99 US or uh, thirty-one two fifty dollars steel. Now, you've probably guessed it by now, but the throwback event is, uh, is, you know, it's for the Creed. It's coming back. 
You probably connected Wait, was that, that 30-odd case deal? So, yeah, uh, along with the beloved game mode Assassini e Templari, um, that will bring back the world of For Honor and Assassin's Creed. Put them that was a weird again. number. Why and, 31250? Uh, that, we have a trailer. Why? <laughs> Why that specific number? Have you ever dreamt of living the life of someone else? Of going back in time and experiencing Ooh, that is cool. historical events exactly the way they happened. Well, I mean, to be fair, no more. The normally Welcome twenty-five anyway. To the Animus It's only six game old. Powered by our cloud-based Helix software. Animus can decode the intense memories embedded in the DNA of that legendary warrior you always wished you could have been. Hmm. For a limited time only, I like that Stergo invites you to link to the genetic memories of great heroes and to make their past your present. With the Animus, history is your playground. Cool. Okay. I love For the Creed. It's always good to see it come back. But I know there are some people at home who maybe weren't here the last time it was around. They're new or, uh, you know, we're, we're all getting older every day. Maybe you forgot. So, Stevan, can you <laughs> you like that? Uh, can you remind us of the rules of the game mode? I, f I feel targeted, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> super cool uh, game mode uh, to play here. Game mode event. Uh, what it is is it takes place on three Dominion maps. Uh, you know, one per per match that you play: Citadel Gate, uh, River Fort, oh. and Beachhead. I love River Citadel Fort. Gate. Awesome maps. Uh, the way it works is it's a little twist. You don't capture the three points. You only capture the middle point. And when you've pushed the lane, your minions have captured it, then it will spawn a commander at either the A point or the C point. So this will be Ezio or uh, Cesare. So lane's super important. Lane's super important. All right, I got this because I'm a, I'm a lane guy. First step, all four to lane, <laughs> capture the lane. That's the only way to spawn your commander. And once you do, you go and you kill that commander. That gives you the big point rush. And then you go back to, uh, to B and recapture this. I know you took a little bit away from me with Warmonger, but I still own the lane, and I'm going to be there. Perfect, and this is really good strategy, actually, because <laughs> the opponents have to capture the lane to get their commander and get their points, so it could be good to deny them capturing B at all, uh, and if you fail to do so, it could be good to cap uh, prevent them from killing their commander. Uh, so that's a game loop. Well, I'm on it. Get out there and kill somebody. <laughs> Um, and I think we have some uh, more stuff coming in. Of course. Yeah. Uh, while this uh, game mode event is live, we'll have a, a couple of cool, awesome things across the realization of the uh, uh, in the game. Of course, the new landing page. Yes, for the landing page, oh, it was okay. my first time uh, integrating the character in the landing page. Thanks to Kim uh, for the background and uh, Fred for the VFX, who did a super great job with it. Oh, and let me I get a screenshot. Like we're, like, we're switching games. Like We're opening an Assassin's Creed game for the first time. Uh, I'm really happy for it. I mean, I'm gullible as a baseline, but if you showed me that and you were like, hey, yeah, this is an Assassin's Creed game you've never played, I would believe you. Because yes. that it just looks really sharp. I'm, you and the team did a, a great job on it. Yeah. Props uh, to everyone who's, who's worked yeah. for sure on this. Uh, looks amazing. Um, quickly going through the rest, we've got uh, minions as realization uh, in this game mode event as well. With great helms. <laughs> exactly. There's a yes. different one for each. So the knights are a bit tougher. I believe it, must. Uh, <laughs> samurai and Viking as well. I really thought there was that uh, in the Centurion skin. Of course, skin. we've got the AC drop attack available to check out for every single character in the game mode event for these three weeks. Oh, yeah, every character. Every character. I can dr I can do Ezio drop attack with big boy Shigoki. <laughs> <laughs> you can do Shigoki, you can nice. do whoever you want <laughs> Wait, uh, for three weeks. And then after that, the only one that stays is the Ezio hero skin. Ah, yeah, exactly. get it. First drop attack. Oh, ah, gotcha. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> you see right through it, yes. <laughs> uh, but we've got more uh, more than that. There's always more. Uh, we've got event, uh, event pass rewards. Say that 10 times fast. 
except don't. <laughs> so uh, let's look at the uh, ones that are coming out the first three weeks. So week one through three, starting on April 25th, we've got some fresh stuff uh, starting on the Battle it. Outfit Battle of lie. Heroes. That's a lot of saying battle, <laughs> like battle, battle. Uh, then we've got uh, an ornament, Hero what of you guys Keith think? Moore and Alex. The this skin does look clean. Like you've got to admit, natural. it does. It does. Uh, well, the shape is already a little it bit like the does. Art of Battle symbol. <laughs> And then we kind of draw, drew on the uh, the theme of nostalgia that we had at the very beginning mm. of the season. So we've got some colors that represent the different factions. We've got the yellow, the uh, green, and the red for the knights, the Vikings, and the samurai. And uh, then also this uh, mood effect, the Vitruvian hero. So in Assassin's Creed, the Vitruvian man is kind of a, a bit of a big thing, you know, with uh, Leonardo kind of da Vinci. Deal. Yeah, but uh, we have our own representation here with our knight, our viking, and our samurai all coming together to create the Vitruvian man. I love Nusha. That's a, and that's a great little emote. But no, the uh, Vitruvian man looks great. I love that it's a, a merging of the, the three OGs. Uh, that's really nice to see. But in addition to that, we've also got an or uh, some elite outfits. Uh, did I skip those? No, no. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. We've got emblem outlines, and also in week one, uh, you'll be able to get all the weapons from the very first AC event that we did. Nice. Uh, so this will be for the first 22 That's heroes cool. in the game. So the 12 base heroes, the six year one heroes, and the Wulin. Uh, and those will be uh, lootable just by playing the game. So if you're like, oh, I wanted that variant of the thing that was from the first time, you can get it again. Yo, I've so just now, actually realized that I've the got coming, the fucking heroes. Uh, in week two through three, so this will be starting May 2nd. You'll be able to loot the rest of have it. the customization items no. from I got early access. the previous uh, AC events. And that'll include uh, a <laughs> pair of battle That's outfits, a Valhalla That's Quest, a I had that. as well as uh, the Animus Project, which we'll see here in just a sec. I always love Law Boy. He's always, always good. The bringer of the law. And everyone's favorite berserker there. That's Altia. Uh, as oh, well as we yeah, have a it? couple of elite outfits. Uh, the first one that is we're going to take a look at here is the ruler of know. the masses on everyone's favorite <laughs> stick boy. And then followed up by the champion of the people. So ruler of the masses, champion of the people. I sense a theme going on there. And there's PK looking lovely. We've also got the ornament, Sinan's Wings, which uh, is... Looking great on Nobu here, but I've got a couple of heroes that I'm going to slap that on the shoulders with. And then Ooh, everyone's favorite spam, nice. welcome to Valhalla. Uh, mood effects. Uh, this one looks great, and I think didn't you had something to do with that, didn't you? Oh, that's nice. Oh, oh we I were like working that. on it when I first joined the team. Yeah, that was yeah. like your, your, your first thing. Yeah. And then uh, we've got a, a pair of synchronization mood effects. First up is the assassin synchronization. Uh, love the sound effect on that one. It's super good. <laughs> um, and then the Templar synchronization as well, for those of you who just want to roll, roll deep on your night lore. Uh, we've also got some engravings and some emblem symbols that, that will be lootable uh, for the time. But, uh, Alex, would you be so kind as to show us the new armor variations? I would love to. Yes! <laughs> Because you could always say no oh, <laughs> and just leave. <laughs> <laughs> I've never tried that before. So, so I appreciate that. <laughs> yes. Uh, so first, quick announcement. Uh, this is the last time that the Yo, armor variations back are coming in the second half of the season. For the rest of the year, you're going to be getting the armor variations at the beginning of the season. The number of armor variations not changing at all. But just the time that it releases will be. So for this one, we have the Knights and the Vikings, and you're going to get the Samurai, the Wulin, and the Outlanders in just a few weeks. So what you might notice from these armor variations is that they are highly customizable. Uh, they oh, don't have a lot I of like uh, emblems on them already. They don't have a lot of engravings on them already. Uh, you can put whatever you want on top oh of them. My, all of that, that silver hard. metal is alternate material. The cl gray cloth on the Knights, that's your color. Uh, on the Vikings, all that light brown, also alternate material. Yes. And uh, your hair is going to take color. Oh, nice. Yeah. I, so the, I love material heavy armors. They're always yeah. really, really nice. Yeah. We well. went for a bit of like a me medium armor feel for the knights. For the Vikings, we had some elaborate tattoos for, to go with the simplistic armor. Nice. Um, so the, uh, the fashion community should have fun with that. Some nice blank canvases for you to express yourself on. Um, and that was it. We didn't we didn't skip anything, right? Wait. Okay. Cool. So, uh, 
I just want to thank all of you for joining me on The Den today. Also, a huge thanks to the Assassin's Creed team uh, for the sweet collab that they did with us. So be sure to check out all of this, uh, the hero skin dropping next week. Um, <laughs> sorry, and not, not for a limited time compared to the event. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, coming right up, we'll find, we're finally going to get a look at the uh, Cathedral converted map for hey. Dominion. Uh, and so we'll be joined by Ed for that so stick around and also thank yeah, you yeah they didn't for, show the for joining rest me. of the amas yeah we'll, we'll see you guys around here. yeah anyway don't go anywhere uh we're gonna look at the full armor variation video and we'll be back oh there we go there we go there we go panic over boys panic over here we go look at that that goes hard man i, I love this bit here this bit that drapes down i love that beautiful the rest is here don't worry These are going to look so nice with custom uh, the customization on. Don't forget that. Griffin goes hard though. Fuck me. Oh wow! Look at the Lawbringer. Holy shit! Oh, it's such a shame that he's a crap hero right now. <laughs> such a shame, man, because he looks badass. I like the PKs. Um, PKs is nice. They're just fucking clean, man. They're just so clean. So clean, man. Yeah, Raider, Raider goes hard, though. Probably have a different helmet. Fucking crusty tall fucking Zerka goes hard, man. Why, why, why did he, why did he insist on having that fucking haircut, man, on the fucking Highlander? Yo, Vag, Vag goes pretty hard. Ah, Granddaddy Warlord, man. Fucking Granny Shaman, fucking hell. How'd Granny Shaman there? <laughs> fucking Granny Valkyrie. Fucking hell. Couple of cu couple of gilfs there, man. Yeah, that they go pretty hard to be honest. They need to fix that quickly on that music though. Yeah, that's pretty good that man. <laughs> Gilfs is kind of crazy. <laughs> it does though. We've got patch notes. I'm excited for the patch notes. Please, please, Warden. Warden Hyper Armor move. Please, just give it to me. I'm fucking praying for it. Please, new warden move. Come on. Just drop it. And the Highlander rework as well. Drop that. Welcome back, warriors. Thank you so much for sticking around with us. We have some awesome new content right, to show today good. about this upcoming converted map. And so join me on the couch is Ed. Welcome, Ed. Hi. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Good. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, it's a pleasure to have you on here. How are you yeah. doing today? I'm doing great. I'm super happy to finally be able to show and tell. Nice. more about the map. Oh, we're going to show Antel. There's a lot to go over on this, too. But I wanted to just take one second, audience out there, just know, like, we were watching the chat, and we saw there was a few questions about the uh, the new uh, Ezio uh, Peacekeeper hero skin thing there. This is not limited time, all right? We just wanted to specify that. Yes, we have a limited time game mode event, but uh, Ezio, he's going to be around to stay. So don't worry about that. We just wanted to make sure everybody at home knew that... Uh, 
It's going to stick around forever, so it's going to be awesome. So, it's good. Uh, so, but to talk about these maps. Now, this yeah. is a huge deal. I really I'm like so this guy's voice, this. man. Yeah. I, just, like, I know it's uh, weird for me to just it's say been, that it's been a hot out of the blue. Yeah. 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 But I and, just you know, really we, like we, his voice. We've, we've kind of mentioned it, but now mm-hmm. it's actually time to kind of like dive in what's going to look like, what's going to play like. So, Ed, what can you yeah. tell us about uh, the new map? Yeah, let's get right like, into it. because uh, I would like him to do like some audible stuff. So, let's start off with the overview of the map here with the three capture zones, A, B, C. Sorry. As you guys know, very important to play Dominion. Yeah. Um, so, like, to kind of take you guys through the a bit of the pro- design process here was like, say on day one, you know, I, I put in the spawners in the map, mm-hmm. and I had to calculate my my runtime parity uh, mm-hmm. across the three different zones there. Okay. Now. Now I'm sure now I know what that means. Obviously, I, I think. Uh, but crunch. for just those at home, what what exactly is runtime parity? Like? So it's a technical term. You don't need to worry about. Oh, thank it, God. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So it's it's a fancy way of saying. Um, you should the, do some voice acting time on some anime. Get one. between spawn and each of the capture zones at match start. Okay. So you you know we're looking to have a balanced map. Here, you know, we don't want to release something that's unbalanced uh, right out of the gate. Of course. So, so yeah, that's uh, essentially what I'm talking about. Okay. Say runtime parity. So equal for both teams. Um, so, uh, getting back to the the overview here. So when I placed my spawners in the map, I saw that I had equal runtime parity to capture zones B and C. Nice. So that was nice. But A was quite severely off balanced. And so it wasn't a question of moving the spawner closer or further because then I would mess up my balance on the other two capture zones. So I kind of had to come up with some clever tricks to to get balance on all three. So starting here from the defender spawn, yes, there is a geyser. And let me tell you why. (laughs) At first, you know, I I, I removed all the geysers because I'm like, all right, we don't really need them. But... Essentially, I ended up adding two oh. of them back in so as to, so that the defender team from match start has to navigate around the oh, geyser to then uh, get their footing inside capture zone A. So that kind of adds a few extra milliseconds, mm. you know, because uh, we're trying to be as precise as possible. The other thing we did we here was we uh, elongated the capture zone here. So it's much wider than it was even in a past event. So that also helped get attackers get their foot in sooner. Mm-hmm. And from the attacker's side, uh, we created a new path from spawn. So here uh, you have that ma- little mountain of rubble and, and stone that goes off. And also on oh. the side, uh, you have this path that was always there in other game modes. Oh, yeah, but, but there was rocks here. Coming up here, there was um, rocks here and stuff, this I think, little right? portion here, normally there's a boulder that's blocking boulder. this area. Yeah. Uh, so this is non-gameplay space. So I opened it up so that attackers could get a faster navigation path uh, to capture zone A. And the other reason why I added the geysers back in Thanks, was John. when you're standing in capture zone A, you you had a little too much visibility on the defender spawn zone. Gotcha. So, you know, the, when the geysers are uh, erupting, it kind of cuts that line of sight. So let the defenders be a little sneaky on their spawn, right? Exactly. You don't want to give too exactly. much away. Yeah, yeah. So what, that's some of the things we need to consider when converting these maps because, you know, they that's were designed good. a certain way, and sometimes you have open lines of sight in certain areas, so we need to be a little clever on how we can cut those lines of sights. Gotcha. Um, moving on to Capture Zone B here. Uh, capture Zone, the minion lane will run see if through the, changes the cathedral. And so this is actually going to be our first Dominion map with a roof over your over the Minion lane. Oh, all right. Yeah, so you're going to have to choose your feats. Oh, so you can't, can't be air storming oh. in there and right? catapults yep. in there for the no. Minion lane? Exactly, Ooh. exactly. Okay. So that'll be a, you know, it, it's a nice change of flavor. I like that. Dominion map. Um, you'll I also notice that in the back there, it, uh, there was like previously that. a huge statue and a statue base mm-hmm. uh, kind of blocking uh, the middle entrance of the cathedral. So I removed that so that players and minions can get in, access it a lot more comfortably. Oh no, I can't use the same map. that I've been using for years. there's also a bridge now <laughs> that, uh, that players can take to navigate between capture zones A and C. 
So you're not forced to run through the minion lane to get to the other zone. I still love the, the just the image of the that warden just running mm -hmm. by. Thank you, thank yeah. you for looping that max. It was amazing. <laughs> uh, now, does uh, the, the the bridge there? It's kind of over the minion lane. Is there yep. uh, chances for for drop attacks, or what are we doing over there? Uh, so I did remove all the drop attack opportunities there since uh, it's a Good. narrower mm -hmm. minion thank lane you. than other maps. So if you know, you, it'd be like drop attacking fish in a barrel. Mm. So you know, as the saying goes, I feel like I'd be the fish in that scenario too. <laughs> So thank you for that. Yeah. So yes, yes. Yeah, and we don't yeah. So now moving on to capture zone C here. Um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So for those of you don't who might have, no. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who might have played a past event, uh, this is pretty much kept uh, as it was. Mm -hmm. Though I did remove a fire trap that was previously there because that was that was spawned from a from a previously like it was a, uh, a perch yeah. there at one point, uh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. For for some. so. Some some Kevin individuals. In the it, Ke rip Kevin. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty Catch much it gone. for the yeah. for the capture zones, the balancing, and all you know the thought process that went behind all that. Wow. So now I want to touch upon something that we talked about uh, the previous time, mm -hmm. uh, the intro cinematics. Ooh, so yeah. Uh, yeah, quite a bit of work went there. Shout out to Amelie, Amelie. again in the back. Yeah, she she did a great job. Uh, it was uh, again a learning exercise for us because we had kind of lost some of this hey. knowledge. And uh, Felix as well, our tech designer, uh, they kind of had to retro engineer, cool. you know, how to how to make these uh, happen once again. Nice. So now we have that skill set, we have that knowledge moving right. forward. So hey, I I really hope uh, players enjoy. I, I, I can't see how they won't because yeah. uh, I mean we've, we've had a chance to play this internally. It's a ton of fun. Mm -hmm. It's it's just yep. so nice and refreshing to have something uh, new like this in Dominion. So yep. it's it's great. So at, uh, I'm very excited work. to play on it. Incredible. And uh, shout out to everybody else on the team who worked on this yep. and contributed. So uh, thank you all so much. And uh, Warriors, you nice. at home, uh, the Cathedral for Dominion live next week, April 25th for everybody with the upcoming title update. And again, Permanent. It's here. It's Permanent. here for good. That's no right. more limited time. Yep. It is here. It's going to be in the rotation now from, mm -hmm. from now on in Dominion when you do, yep. do matchmaking. Available in custom matches if you want to go in and check yep. it out for yourself. So, uh, yeah, it's it's the first uh, first Dominion map in a long time, and yeah, yeah, it's yeah. exciting. So mm -hmm. it looks And I hope to I'm be back again that. in the near future. Well, I, I hope so, too. <laughs> I hope so, too. Yeah, there yeah. we go. No, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so thank you so much. Uh, thank you so My much. My pleasure. Too. All righty. Uh, so we are going to uh, show you just a kind of a bigger video uh, mm -hmm. showing off the Cathedral Converted Map uh, one more time. And uh, after that, stick around because we're going to have JC himself on the couch to talk about patch notes, balancing, all those fun topics. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Lord and Savior, JC, making the appearance for the patch notes. Hopefully it's going to be a good one. No, he didn't miss the patch notes yet. No, that's up next. Like I'm, I'm not much of a four v four player, as you, as you guys know, but I'm, I'm very looking forward to playing on this. Always nice to have some fresh, fresh battlefield to fight on, you know. Yo, what's up, pop star? How are you doing? Good to see you. One page of patch notes, do you reckon? I'll run, run fours with you. Yeah, I'm down stun gun. That's 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 cool. I'm, I'm, I'm not down for that, bro. I'm down for that, mate. Does it, does he not know how to run? Yeah, but he's just you're taking it in, man. You've got to just. Edge walk, jog a little bit, take it all in, you know? If you run in, you, you just gotta try and look at everything quick, aren't you? They're showing off the map. They're not fucking speed running it. Mm, it's very nice. Hey, different weather as well. Very nice. 
there's people out there that will be like, oh, the fucking, they're so lazy, the, the converted maps instead of making a fresh one, blah, blah, blah. You don't realize how much fucking money it costs to make a map like fresh. How much money, how much time, resources. Like the fact that we got this is great. And we're getting another one as well. Don't forget, this isn't the only one. We are getting another one this year. With the said we was getting two. I wonder what um I wonder what the second map's gonna be. What do you reckon? Which which elimination map do you think that they're gonna turn into Dominion next? It's year eight, this is more than accepted. Exactly. Exactly. No, I'm not gonna put my feet up on stream, bro. I don't have enough room anyway. I'm hoping for canopy. Canyon? Canyon could probably work. Welcome back, warriors. We're excited to have you with us today. Hmm. And join me on the couch, our Lord and Savior, JC. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. I'm here for my legion of adoring fans. Oh, they're out <laughs> and there. And the people who hate me too. I, I don't know. I was looking at chat, and so it's they're, fun. They're all fans. Everybody, yeah, 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 everybody's yeah. a fan. Come I on, love that they're calling him the Lord and Savior now. Uh, so listen, uh, JC is here. We got some uh, patch notes and balancing topics to talk about today. But we had one other uh, feature we wanted to spend a little bit of time to introduce you all. Um, if you weren't aware, uh, next week on the 22nd, it's actually International Earth Day. What was that? It's a cool day. Uh, it's time to celebrate Me? the environment. Sorry. And, uh, you know, we've been working on a little feature in the background that's going to launch with next uh, with the title update next week. And we call it Eco Mode. So what is Eco Mode? Well, essentially, it's a special uh, power saving mode that we've implemented into the game that's just going to help save money on your energy bill. You know, it's a, it's a nice thing to have. Uh, this is going to be added into the options. It's off. Wait, what's so this? It starts I off, missed it. Uh, completely off, and you can just choose uh, which version you want to use. Uh, there's three different versions: minimal, smart, and full. So if you Wait, turn what? on minimal, you're going to essentially save energy. Uh, it's going to go into a lower energy state on menus. If you turn it on to smart, it's going to start an energy saving mode if you're idle for two more minutes uh, or for two minutes. And if you put it on full, well, you're always going to be in an energy saving mode because it's going to disable certain enhanced graphics modes and settings and things like that. So how do you know if you have it on? Well, we put a new icon that's going to just appear only in the menus uh, just to show oh. that you have it on. It's going to look like a green icon. It'll come up on the video. In is this just something just for console? Missed I missed, missed the beginning bit of that. There it is. Yep. Uh, so yeah, you can turn it on, save some power, uh, just enjoy that, or uh, just, just don't worry about it either. Either way, oh. it's there for you as, as, a, as a happy Earth Day sort yep. of uh, gift for, cool. for Honor to all of our wonderful players out there. So Wait, did you just say for Honor too? That. Yo, this let's is go. professionals, right? That's no, it. I'm yeah, we'll see you next time. <clears throat> uh, here. No. <laughs> <laughs> big, big fake out. Big fake out right there. Uh, no, but we do have some more uh, balancing topics to talk about today. So, uh, JC, what, what do you yeah, have nice for our, our lovely community? There's a couple today? of things. Just uh, Teddy, like uh, oh. it's going to be like you know, one slide. Just, just one or two, one or two yeah, slides. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> first things I want to talk about, uh, first thing I want to talk about right, actually is uh, the past testing grounds that we just finished, right? Mm -hmm. The stuff about we did about ganking. Um, we got a lot of feedback. Uh, we've identified a bunch of things that need to be worked on. Uh, notably, one of the issues that we that we had is uh, there's like moments where it's actually better to take a hit than blocking because blocking doesn't kind of as a hit reaction. So there's like, uh, a lot of those like little tweaks that we need to do. We need to dive in deeper on our end to make sure we go where we need to go. Uh, I was a bit surprised at, at first because I saw some feedback that was like pretty negative, mm -hmm. and then players played it a little bit more, turned around on it. At the end of the day, it's like it's pretty good, nice. so it's good. But the thing is, um, this is not a ah one day and it's done type of thing. Yeah, we have to re-implement it on every single hero, figure out solutions to all the issues that we found during the testing grounds. And there's not like only one or two, right? It's a big rework of how all the entire hit system works. And so because of this, um, don't expect for that feature to come in like tomorrow, right? Okay. Uh, it'll take some time. We want to make sure that we do it right, that we inspect every little nook and cranny of how that works. Uh, so I don't have a time, I don't have a date, I don't have anything for you when it's going to come out. Uh, we're super happy that we did it. We're really happy that players went into it. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of positives to it, but it's going to take some time for us to implement. So don't expect it tomorrow. Don't expect it at the next season either. Uh, it'll take some time, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to come in as soon as we're able to do it. 
Cool. But it's complex. It's uh, it's a lot of work, so we want to make sure that we do it right. Yeah, for sure. Makes Perfect. sense. Yeah, and then uh, <clears throat> let's dive into the actual patch notes after that. All right. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of things that take a little Water bit longer, new <laughs> Highlander. Hey, so the Highlander is. rework is finally in. Uh, hey, it took a finally. little bit longer than we expected. We ran into some issues uh, redoing it, but uh, yeah, they were talking about the gun, can you? We're <laughs> okay, Max. Uh, so we're good to go. But uh, honestly, like uh, uh, we're really happy with uh, where we ended up with this. So I'll go over the changes just to be clear. These are the changes from current live to new live next week okay uh so it's like there's stuff that was in the testing Moon's ground be like happy. a, a, a yeah. bit of how we're working through so, it so if they've never played the testing grounds this exactly is this was going to be happening okay. to highlander yeah. uh so first up we have uh, offensive form entry changes so by that we mean like how you enter offensive form and what ends up happening so there's three kind of major changes the first is that you can now enter offensive form after any feint by holding the heavy attack button so what this means is you go neutral, you tap heavy to throw a heavy, you feint it, and then you hold heavy either before the feint or during the feint, and you will immediately transition to offensive stance, right? This gives Highlander a lot more options to get into it. Uh, it really helps you, like, you, you actually you throw an indicator, right? So you don't know if you're able to parry what, what's going to be able to happen there. It makes it trickier to interrupt, makes it trickier to, like, it, it actually makes even the Highlander's head neutral heavies better because you're kind of a bit more worried about what's going to be happening. So that's when that's the one big major change we have there. Yeah. The second line uh, refers to uh, what's it's fast flow to offensive form during offensive form side dodges. That's a mouthful. <laughs> uh, it's now from six to eight hundred ms. It used to be four to six. Mm -hmm. This is the infamous wave dash. Ah. And so, um, I don't want to skirt around it, right? We've removed wave dashing from the hero at least at the time that we had before, uh, mainly because it was a bug. Right. It was unintended from day one, but we left it in because it's one of those things of a bug that became a feature because it ended up being necessary under some situations. Enemies like spamming attacks really quick. And because he didn't have a proper dodge attack out of the side dodge, he could kick, but you didn't really get iframes, you didn't really get anything. So it became really, really difficult to deal with opponents that were mashing a lot of attacks. So now that Hander does have a dodge attack, spoiler alert, uh, mm -hmm. in offensive form, this is no longer strictly needed. Uh, I know some players are not going to be super psyched, super happy about it. It's okay. obscure tech, uh, requires like a like trickier inputs. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, it's something that we've been looking to fix for a while. We had bugs going to this like a long time yeah, ago, like yeah. infinite kicks and all sorts of stuff. So it's better that it's not there uh, for the hero's health, for playing against them. Uh, and you're going to get a dodge attack, which actually is even better than wave dashing, because mm -hmm. then you're going to be able to do a lot of cool stuff with your dodge attack, so that's great. Yep. Uh, and then the last one here is you can now dodge earlier while you enter offensive form. So what this refers to is when you're entering from neutral, right, and even from feints, but more likely from more effectively from neutral, if you hold heavy mm. uh, and you go into your offensive stance, you can dodge way earlier than you could before. I don't have the exact number right now on paper, I'm sorry, but... You can see it. It's in the patch notes. Highlander uh, mains. But the How idea you here is that... You happy? If you were facing a Highlander and you saw him enter offensive stance, you could very reliably interrupt them and throw out a light, and there was nothing they could do about it. Yeah. With this timing for the dodge, now no. you have to make a read as to if they're going to dodge or not and what's going to end up happening because it's much harder to interrupt them. You can like go into offensive stuff form, really, really dodge super quick, and you'll be able to dodge out of, a, of an interrupt attempt and then beat them with your dodge attack and get into this. So it's a bit of a quality yeah. of life change here yeah. to help him get that into that mode a, a little bit safer. Yeah. <laughs> now we have uh, offensive form changes themselves. Uh, big biggest faint. one is kick can now be fainted. Uh, so that's great. So kick and kibber toss have been changed a little bit here. Uh, but the idea is that when you're facing a Highlander, if you see them kick, you can just roll away. On live right now, just roll away. There's literally nothing Hander can do. Uh, the best you could hope for is kind of like they would miss their roll input. <laughs> yeah. be, you know. So what we've done here is you can feint the kick, and now you can also do caber toss from front dodge when you are uh, in offensive form. Uh, like we also that gave that caber toss a little bit more forward movement. Uh, it's a little bit faster when you use it from front dodge as well. That's cool. To be able to reliably catch rolls. So these two changes by themselves fix the roll issue, that's great. And then the feint also fixes on kick, also fixes the issue that Highlander has where right now, because everybody has a dodge attack, the kick soft feint to caber toss only works on opponents that are empty dodging. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. If they dodge, if you do a dodge attack, yeah, you keep your gonna miss them. We've tried. To, we've we've figured out oh, maybe we can give them armor, but then it's a bash that armored that you can like. It removes options from players. So instead of having that as a feint, you can feint your kick, parry whatever is gonna come at your way, or dodge into guard break, oh, whatever enough. you want. But it works a lot better. It's a lot more effective. You can feint the guard break as well if you'd like. Yeah. Uh, so it's really about giving hander better mix-ups in here. Uh, that being said, you can still kick the Kibir Toss if you want to. Mm -hmm. Like one of the big things that we've been trying to do in this rework is keep a lot of what was making Highlander Highlander. Uh, we've experimented with like some weird tech where like from neutral you can just hold heavy and then you wouldn't charge immediately mm -hmm. to make like some things a little bit easier. But then the more we're playing with it, the less Highlander it felt. Yeah. So that's a lot of where we're trying to go with this rework is keeping the feeling. We know players love Highlander. Mm -hmm. Because I love Highlander. I love Highlander like really, really much. <laughs> right, right. Uh, and so even though we're fixing some things, we're trying to adjust these things. So they Guys, I'm uh, English. What the fuck as is I this? mentioned earlier as well, we have a new side dodge attack, right? In offensive form, uh, it's 14 damage, 200 MS. You side dodge, release heavy. You're going to do a side dodge attack. Uh, if you played in the testing grounds, you saw the animation for that attack was the same one that we have in defensive form. Yeah. But uh, we've actually changed it and we made a new attack that is in the same direction as a dodge, whereas we're normally your opposite direction. So it's a little bit different, uh, but we have a brand new attack. No, uh, Espanol, great. no. Just props to Vanessa and the animation team for Getting putting rated. that in. Getting Looks yeah, like it. Looking stuff. Uh, we also have the top flight attack is now 400 MS down from 5. That was a very recurring feedback that we got where... Why would top not be four when the sides are four as well? So this is a nice little buffer under there as well. All three lights. Where did all these guys come form, from? Or 400 MS. Speaking non-English. It's unreactable from neutral. Very, very strong. Little range <laughs> though, so you got to be right in their face. But it's still very useful. Yeah. And then finally, uh, the heavy attacks in offensive form now deal 20. I don't mind it, but they're asking 30. me questions now. Uh, the it. damage curve was a bit the high. You get to land more kicks, more caber tosses, more of those things. So we need to lower that damage a little bit because otherwise it was just, again, way too strong. Um, so uh, there's a big difference here. Another thing that's not in this slide here, uh, but that kind of I prefer this version to the live one right now. Stamina now instead Honestly. of 24. So it makes a big difference here. You can use them. I much easily. prefer this version okay. to the live one, man. Next up, we have defensive form changes, which is a quite a small slide. <laughs> I think I, I'm thinking about it. Could probably could have cut it in more, and then the the three slide challenge would have been beaten here. So that would be. <laughs> uh, so it's a real challenge we yeah, use. It, I don't know. I that's what know. that's what I hear. That's what I saw on Twitch anyway. Oh, uh, okay. So right now, like uh, some of the things we've been doing on defensive form is that yeah. the light opener superior blocks they now deal 18 damage instead of 20. Again, damage curve changes. Uh, some of these attacks dealt too much damage, so we tried to mess around with them. Another big change is that uh, the top heavies, actually the, 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 the heavy openers have different speeds. They all used to be 1,000 MS, which is really slow, but they're yeah. armor. You're like, okay. But it prevented Highlander from having uh, viable guard break and light parry punishes mm -hmm. specifically. So now top heavy is 800, deals a regular 24 damage. Side heavies are 900 and they deal 27. So essentially, you get a guard rate, you can please, get a top heavy Warden, now for new 24 move. instead of having to throw your zone attack. New high you get a light parry punish, you get your side heavies at 27, uh, which is one more than the unblockables please. as well in offensive form. So okay. you don't really need to go into offensive form to get that extra damage. Again, it's one of those things where the input comfort of parrying, holding heavy, releasing it, like it just adds extra input you invaded by a Brazilian that is not really necessary oh. for the hero. And even here, you're going to land it, you're going to go into offensive form. You're, you're happy, you're good to go. Yeah. Uh, so that kind of works all around with giving him better options. Where these guys out of come defensive from, man? Form, lets him flow better into offensive form, get him a lot more normal punishes that we have on, on pretty much every other hero by now. So it makes a big difference here. Uh, the other change we've done is that Chained Lights no longer have uninterruptible stance. Hander has, like, used to have at least, like, Chained Lights, like, kind of like Finisher is. Yeah, that had We've armor been the whole way. Right. Uh, <laughs> that was kind of oppressive. It was making people kind of annoyed. We've moved that uninterruptible, uninterruptible stance. Jeez, I'm gonna have a hard time saying that. <laughs> We've moved it somewhere else, uh, but it was no longer necessary on chain lights. Really. I might actually so play more highlights out of them. They're still good. They're still pretty Maybe. fast. It's still a lot of good stuff there, but we, it, they don't really need that that armor there. I might play That's more highlights now. Then we have uh, heavy finishers. Uh, we fixed a little bug where the guard break vulnerability. Used to be 200 MS on the on the chain finishers. Now it's 100, so we're good to go. But 
The big change with that and with zone attack is that they both chain into each other now. So if you throw a heavy finisher, whether it lands, hits, or is blocked, you can immediately go into zone attack. And then oh, your third end of zone attack can immediately go into heavy finishers. So you can keep looping those. You're a oh, complete shit. monster in That's the lane cool. now because you have this big 360 arc going three times into a heavy, into the zone. All right. It's like big spinny top guy goes broom. You know, it's kind of cool. Spin to win. Yeah, it's, but it's, it's super interesting. It gives them like a really different flow. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, it, fit, it feels really well, especially because uh, you can now faint the first hit of the zone attack. And it gains uninterruptible stance. I got it right. At 500 MS uh, for the first hit. And the second and third hit now have uninterruptible stance at 100 MS. So again, you get armor in various stages throughout the entire zone attack. But it really lets you trade with opponents, lets you stay into that, like that, yeah. that, you know, that, that big attack going. Fits really well with defensive form as well. So that's great. Nice. Uh, like I said, a third hit can go into heavy finishers. And we've also adjusted. All the weapon trajectories uh, for the zone attack to fit the weapon a little bit better. Uh, if you've played at testing grounds, there was some instances where, like, sometimes they used to phase through people. Yeah. But so we've really adjusted this. Twenty-four so damage, really top heavy. A lot more three hundred and sixty around him, and be a lot Down more. from thirty. Damn, That's that is a fucking. That's it for defensive form changes. Oh, Finally, we have yeah, quality of life <laughs> changes. Uh, so, kick and keeper toss no longer drain stamina. We've been moving away from stamina draining right. bashes, okay. so that kind of makes sense there. Um, you can also now feint uh, Celtic Curse, which is this front dodge heavy attack in defensive in defensive form. Uh, before you could kind of like you had to go into like the side feint, the side soft feints, or you had to like hold heavy to go into offensive form. But you can now just straight up feint it. Oh, that's go. cool. So that's like nice little quality change there. Let's people mix up. Ah man, you can see, you know, bait parries or whatever. They made him Good. better though. And then we've also increased his movement speed uh, to be the same as Ken say, uh, so that rotations are better. They're more stable. Uh, Dude, it doesn't I'm excited sound like much, to play Highlander. Big, big, big problem on Highlander. That was yeah. one of the big things that made him not really viable at Highlander. Raiders voice line because line? you couldn't rotate and from A to A or C properly. It took too long. You had to pick Rush as a first feat, so you could actually go towards and run towards those sides. So <laughs> it was like a bit annoying here. So we really standardized this. So he runs uh, at a normal speed, like the same as Kensei. So it's not fast, right? It's not you know, <laughs> it's not Shinobi, yeah. but it still is what is faster than it was before. So it really is more equal to what we have with other heroes. Gotcha. That's pretty much it for Highlander. Nice. Right? Yeah, that's a but then, modern uh, new move. Yeah. So then, uh, <gasps> oh yes. Remember when we had the the first title update? There was a little bit of a trailer, and we I, saw some things in it. I, yes. I some some eagle eye, eagle eyed viewers. Yeah. Out there. Right. Kind of caught on to that right. A couple of them, right? <laughs> so what we've been doing? It's not a major rework to Highland, to, to Warden, right? Don't get your hopes up. This is what's happening to to, to Warden, but. What we've done is we've given him new follow-ups to Shoulder Bash. Max, you can play the, the video, and then I'll explain as we go. So essentially, what we've done is... Oh, what the fuck? Uh, on left and right uh, light attacks after oh. Shoulder Bash, and then on all the heavies, and as well as on zone attack, we've given them all... And, and Top Light also does it, but the, all these attacks that I have listed that are listed here have brand new animations. We took the opportunity there as well to make sure we did more half sorting stuff. I know it's a yeah. big, big request from the community to have half sorting attacks. I see and, Brian and yeah, Brian's back, dancing in the background. Uh, going nuts, so that's great. Uh, <laughs> so we've adjusted this, but at the same time, we wanted to keep Warden playing the same. So it's the same inputs. Everything's kind of like the same. The damage is the same. Recovery is timing. Oh, everything is the I'm same. I'm so it's happy. Different visuals because we wanted to make sure that because these have uninterruptible stance. Um, they need to be different than the attacks from neutral because it's not always clear otherwise. Are you are you throwing your neutral one? Are you throwing, throwing the one after shoulder bash? Yeah. Did I miss time it and the wrong one came out and why didn't I get armor here and there? So mm -hmm. we it's kind of like it's a whole package here for this. And the reason why we did this, which is also quite important, oh, they've right, all got is high parameters. Warren well. has a bit oh of an issue gosh. in group fights uh, yeah. where you couldn't really throw shoulder bash because you would get all got high constantly, zone and very lights. very quickly. So with this, you actually are a lot more solid. It's your basically immune to like non bash <sighs> peels so it, it makes the hero much stronger in 1v1 it has literally no effect but that's okay it's really specifically for group fights um and making sure you're gonna be good because you don't chain on miss it might be time to oil up. attack him if you go into a it actually break, might be time to oil up right now maybe but really it's the focus on his group fight ability um it's the change that we're doing now for warden uh, we're trying to figure out what else we're going to be able to like to, to do to make his group fight it a little bit better. Be time um, but that's one. like step one, right? Uh, 
it's one of those things that we're trying to go like a little bit more like step by step instead of trying to yeah. go everything all at once uh, and see where heroes end up. That was very, very successful with Warlord in the past, as an yeah. example, where we did small Stand incremental Stand up, I know your are right every now. Patch, <laughs> and we got somewhere. I'm not saying there's going to be new buffs coming toward the next patch, but it's just oh. it's an approach we're trying to take a little bit sometimes where we do Dude. it incrementally and see where things end up and readjust to get the heroes. I'm playing more 4v4s now, man. Right. Cool. I'm but playing more 4v4s. Right then we have another slide, right? So uh, there's more slides. Oh, shit, there's more? <laughs> Uh, which is a bit of a nerf to some heroes, but okay. let's talk about it. Backstep attacks, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, you can no longer backstep your light openers with oh these God. heroes. So Warlord, Valk, Kyoshin, Ephira, BP, Ranjin, and Highlander. Oh, they did it. So you're looking at them like, hmm, that's a weird eclectic group of heroes. It's, it's very eclectic. It's yes. Very eclectic, oh, right? Ephira. Yeah, uh, besides Ephira's a bunch of them nerfed, having man. shields, right? Um, oh my God. The idea here is these are all superior block Opener lights, mm. also known as crushing counters. Right. Warden is not in here because oh, he already God, could not backstep his top light. Right. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Uh, but the th the thing here is that we've removed the ability to backstep. So even if you're holding like down, you're holding back and trying to walk. This back, was walk, the strongest on Afira. Light, you will just not walk backwards. It'll be as if you're walking forward or being. Afira's was so edge, man. Forward. And so the reason why we're doing this is this was a very very potent option select against opponents because. What you could do with a lot of these heroes, especially like with heroes like Kyoshin or Ephira even, you could just like hold back and then you see red, tap light. If it's a light, you'll crush and counter them, you'll beat them, good to go. If it's a heavy, you'll backstep far enough that the heavy is going to miss you, that things can miss you and it made you way too safe for this. We're only focusing on these heroes for now. We'll see how this affects other heroes, how it affects other things. I know Shinobi has some issues. Here where you can God. backstep your life into like skipping to your offense. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to see if we do this on more heroes, if we do this on more attacks. But at least yeah, now, definitely do it on block ones, also known as crushing counters, uh, it's a very nice change. It affects Highlander too. That's kind of part of why we're, we were pushing this to be at done the same on time Shinobi. with the Highlander rework. Yeah. For sure. Make sure that things were going to come in line with this. Shinobi uh, so annoying. So it's a big thing here. Uh, it's important. We, it's, it's a request we've been getting from a lot of players for a long time. This is great though. I'm very happy. Nerf these attacks. To be clear as well, uh, we've actually tried, I've tried myself like quite a bit to go, can we keep the back step, but then not it be as bad and end up being worse because you would end up throwing unparable attacks instead, which is something that we really, really don't want to have. Yeah. So the more I was messing with them, the more it was either like we remove back step and yeah, it's, you know, it's a bit sad because you don't have that extra movement, but it created way worse issues. It would either you would become impairable or you would lose range completely on your lights. Yeah. So you wouldn't really step forward. So there was a lot of like other effects that it created. So it's the the, the simpler and the better solution is just remove backstep. Nice. Okay. All right. Cool. Then we have other changes uh, that are a bit smaller on a couple of different heroes. Needs to go. Uh, but it's nerfs to some of the overperforming heroes. Uh, you don't need to remove the here. double dodge. Again, just to make sure things are clear. You just need to remove the deflect so from the Shinobi, second dodge. Uh, is light openers now deal 10 instead of 12. It was something that oh. we had tried to do in the past. Something happened. There was a mistake somewhere in integration or whatever. And it didn't go through. So now it's actually through. We've tested it. Everything's great. So they actually oh, do deal 10 it's damage. Uh, again, damage curve was a bit too high. You can do double lights with it. Bit too strong, so with this, like it, it evens out a damage curve, so we're good. Oh, and then the second hit of attack is uh, now dealing four instead of six. It's undodgeable when you dodge the first hit, it's a bit problematic. Okay. Uh, so by lowering it just a tad, uh, it helps like ease the pain here <laughs> a little bit for that. For that issue, yeah. and then we have Hito. So Hito has been like creeping up like quite a bit in tier lists. Yeah. I've been yeah. seeing like a bunch of different tier lists where Hito is a lot higher. And one of the major reasons for this is we discovered that the garbage vulnerability of our opener heavies, if you didn't charge them at all, was 333 MS. Mm -hmm. Normally, the magic number is 433. And the reason why it's 433 is that if I go and I throw a heavy at you and I faint and I guard break and I, and I read that you were going to try to parry, my guard break will always land. No matter what timing you faint, I fainted, no matter when you pressed heavy, if it were going to parry in the right timing, my guard break is always going to land. At 333, there's moments where the guard break will bounce. And so if you're fighting Hito Kiri, Hito was super safe at throwing heavies at specific timings in parry windows 
where Fainter Garbrig would just bounce off of her and she would get her heavies anyway. Hmm. So what we've done here is the way Hitokiri is built is there's like when you when you start an attack, there's a charge portion and then there's a strike portion. And so the Garbrig vulnerability applies only Thank to the God. strike portion that we that we spoke about. Like there's you're vulnerable to Garbrig throughout the entire charge, but when you release the button, you used to have 33 ms of 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 Garbrig vulnerability. Now you have one. This is only part one. So you charge for 300 minimum, then you go into 133 when you release. So it gives you a minimum of 433, which is again, like I said, our magic number for this. Yeah. So it's it's less of a nerf and more of a bug fix. This happened when we cut down the attack speed to 700 ms. I'm not putting my feet then, up. Like a mistake happened that where we didn't readjust that window because we Bro. have to do all these things manually. Susan, uh, some people think you know we have spaghetti code, but it's you know we have, <laughs> we have we do have to do stuff manually. It's more, it's more of a fine pasta. Exactly yeah, right. Not, you know, not, speak, not just angel speak. hair or something. Angel right? so, hair. Yeah. Yeah, so this is kind of how it <laughs> works. So we we kind of fix this so that Hitokiri should at least respect the rules in that regard. Mm -hmm. uh, so that should be good. And then we have Ephira. Uh, so top red moon and right red moon, which are the EK buffs attacks after her bashes. Did she already so get buff law recently? Bash, kick. Uh, they now deal 16 instead of 18. And the reason why we're like, it, 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 again, you're like, oh, it's too damaged, like whatever, right? Yeah. It's because these well, attacks PK changes already went, went live, heavy right? Parry, gotcha. Right? You heavy parry, go into a neutral bash, go into those attacks. 18 damage is a tad too high for heavy dam heavy parry punishes. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to have that. There's a reason why we're trying to, trying to move away from higher damage heavy parry punishes. Uh, often, it's not fun to play against. She still has her displacement that still deals a lot of damage. But in if you don't, if there's no walls around or anything, in most cases you're gonna be doing one of these two. And 18 is too high. 16 is higher than the baseline. Hopefully, uh, Normally some baseline is a light, buffs. which is about 14-ish damage. Uh, pop the problem is that you have to spend extra stamina for Hopefully your stamina. bash. And so we're kind of comfortable going, well, look, you know what? I have to pay the stam cost for the bash. I have to pay the stam cost for the heavy afterwards. So we're okay leaving them a little bit higher. But not at 18, where it's just way above the curve. Gotcha. Yeah, let's bleed more direct damage. And would then be finally, nice. we have Orochi and Zerk. So Orochi uh, is on attack now, deals 11 damage uh, instead of 14. Again, changes to like some of these things. It can combo into like that combo Ooh. light, all, this, uh, all, all that sort of stuff, so that the damage curve is more equal to everything else that we have in Orochi. Uh, Saturday finishers now deal 28 instead of 30. Big change here. Uh, there's still 700 MS. These still have very very large hitboxes. Trajectories. It's really about making sure that they're okay. not overly Slide oppressive. We'll nerfs. keep an eye on them. Uh, it's been popping up more and more and more and more that they're like difficult. They're really strong. Yeah. So we're gonna see if we need to adjust them further. Yeah. But for Storm now, Rush. at least the damage is gonna be a little bit lower. And it doesn't seem worth it now. Uh, and then finally, Stormrush really? now deals 17 damage down from 20. It used to deal 16, but then you had a guaranteed light afterwards that dealt an extra four, so it was 20 total. When we removed that light, uh, we were like, well, we don't want to nerf Storm Rush too much. So we kept it at 20. Like we raised it to 20 total. Right. But then 20 total is still too high. Like after all the data we've had, after everything we've been seeing, 20 is too high. Lowering it to 17, uh, much more in line with that sort of attack. You're going to have to use it a little bit more if you want to be able to kill somebody with it. So that's good. Mm. Well, and then finally, Zerk. So Zerk loses a bit of damage uh, fair enough, at like. a bunch of different spots. Sometimes it goes on by one. Sometimes it goes on by two. Uh, but essentially, it's I'm happy to see any the more damaging damage attacks nerfs. that Berserker has. We're lowering them. So top of the opener deals 28 instead of 29. That was a bit too high at 29. Side of the, top of the finisher deals 30 instead of 31. Again, you can, like, it's easy to go into those attacks. So we don't want them to have like man. overly high damage. Side of the finishers, there are 32. They're above the regular limit of 30. Uh, but basically, it's because they're really they're they're tricky to get to. So at 32, we're like, yeah, it's still a bit high, but it, we're okay. And then side dodge lights now deal 13 instead of 15. Um, that is also because his side dodge lights are very, very strong. Big trajectories, can be dodge canceled, have undodgeable, lots of movement. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we're lowering their damage a little bit. Again, seeing where that goes. And so that's kind of like the idea here, right? So we took some of the overperforming heroes, trying to level them down a little bit with like through damage. Uh, and trying to see where that's going to go, see if how much of an impact it's going to have. Yeah. We'd like to take smaller steps forward to get into a position where we're comfortable than massively over-nerfing, right? right. Like, it, it, nuking a hero sometimes, <laughs> like, it, it's sometimes... Not it's always fun, yeah. It is sometimes necessary, right, yeah. unfortunately, because things are way too complicated. Like, we, you know, it's... And it's not about, like, you know, spaghetti code or whatever, but it's... There are a whole 
and then you pull on one part. No, this is the hero skin. Lapses, so we have to be really, really careful. Right. Sometimes you have to do this for things to stop being frustrating. Sometimes you don't. In these cases, we didn't have to do it yet, and we'll see where these things end up. Okay. That's pretty much it for balancing. That's a that's, quite a few slides this time. Eh? That's, that's quite a bit. Quite yeah. a bit. Uh, yeah, that was, that, that was a lot. Uh, but thank you so much, JC, for coming on and sharing all that, as always, to for these very in-depth explanations. Uh, I, I always really appreciate that. I know our community does, too, to really just understand the rhyme and the reason behind yeah. it all. So thank you so much for, for sharing your insights and all the changes. And again, uh, great job to the team out there who is uh, working on these changes oh, yeah. as well. Uh, so yeah, um, so listen, community, all these changes, everything we talked about, uh, if you missed any of this, uh, we're going to have a patch notes, uh, that'll be posted online for you to go through. You can read it all. Uh, don't forget about eco mode as well. Uh, and all this save will be trees. save that the trees. That was pretty good. Uh, save. Where is that? <laughs> Not going to go into the next one. Uh, so, anyway, uh, so yes, so eco mode, uh, all the fun <sighs> patch so notes. So happy about the water changes. To Holy next fuck. week, one week from today, April 25th. Keep an eye out for all that. Check the patch notes. And uh, don't go anywhere because we've got a fun wrap up outro coming up uh, right after this. So, Always JC, fun. thank Always you so much. Fun. Thank you very much. All right, stick around. Don't go nowhere. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. Good patch notes. Map looks good. Skin looks cool. Warden's getting some love for uh, 4v4 with high armor and new moves and shit. Oh man, I'm fucking happy. I'm very happy about that. New animations. High Prama. It's going to help him so much in 4v4s, man. I'm very happy. Very fucking happy. So you'll probably see my Warden a lot more in, in 4v4s. Uh, did Warden lose Stampaws? No, he didn't. He got new animations on everything after the bash and High Prama on bash follow-ups, light, zone, heavy. Gonna help him a lot. Very happy with it. Yeah, definitely more Warden 4v4 videos. Oh, for sure. 100%. Oh, very happy with that. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bum, 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 bum. I'm going to stay for Brian. Brian likes it when I stay for the wrap up, so I'll stay for you, buddy. I'll stay for you, bro. Will they keep their free for all mode? Uh, maybe, hopefully. They're probably like collecting data right now. They're probably collecting data and see what the, what the deal is. We'll definitely see it again though, you know, they put a lot of time and effort into that. New map as well, so... We'll definitely see it again, I reckon. What a show, everybody! Oh. I hope you all are as ready as we are for the upcoming title update. Preparing. Let's do a quick recap, though. So, to break it down, we got the For the Creed throwback event starting next week, which will also come with the Ezio Auditore Hero Skin. Uh, both of these things are next week. As well as, we'll be dropping that sweet, sweet cathedral converted map. I'm super hyped for this. Cathedral was always one of my favorite maps. It's and so good. Yeah, to be able to Dominion on it, oh, I'm man. super happy. It's going to be great. Because, uh, yeah, you basically, well, at least me, I had to do customs before to see it. And I go, oh, it's <laughs> so pretty. And now I can just pff, Dominion away. Uh, we've also got armor variations coming for the Knights and the Vikings. Beautiful. A lot of blank canvas for your alternate materials there. And yeah, last but not least, we've got skin. Hyper Duel <laughs> throwback event starting on hey. May 23rd. So, I like Hyper Duels. Uh, it's see, great. Uh, conk with the bonk right there. Oh, I know. So, Hyper Duels is a lot of fun. Looking forward to them. But, uh, Nolan, I think there's more coming, right? Oh, of course, yes. Uh, so coming up this season, don't forget, uh, we have three more Hero Fests planned. Uh, we have one for Shaman planned on May 16th, one for uh, your, your the big boy JJ on May 30th, and then Hitokiri on June 6th. Yeah. Now, these are great, so don't forget when these are Shaman, live, JJ, you, you and get to play the Hero Free hero for fests. a week if you haven't cool. unlocked them yet. Uh, you get a brand new uh, Unique Execution is going to be dropping for them all, uh, as well as double XP for playing the Hero, so if you need to grind out, hit that Rep 8 to get those wild Berry materials. This is the best time to get that. Man, that's such a good. And that's not all, because we've got a 
Peacekeeper Hero oh, Fest. That's right, speaking of today, which. starting today, that means a uh, new unique execution for the day. On top of the uh, you know the unique drop attack sugar next week. That's a good yeah, nice. Looking forward to that. Um, but uh, we got more. We got limited time content that's of a good the one, week. Man. Uh, first up for April eighteenth, uh, we've got the execution uh, sprightly skewer. Oh, that was PK. Oh, that was, that was the one we just saw. Oh, I wasn't looking at the monitor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's on me. Yeah, so pick that up, sprightly skewer. Get your PK on, and then we got more items coming on April twenty fifth. Uh, we got the execution. Fear not the darkness. Uh, shown here on. One. Uh, yeah. Oh shit. Uh, I'll, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, and a mythic outfit, the apple of Eden, or if you're. Dude, I like this section, effect. It's nice. The apple of Eden. For all I, I for all for all my Norse lore nerds out there. Those two pictures seem the same. Yeah, you? it's pretty yeah. nice though. Yeah. Uh, we've also got an emote master assassin, 10k yeah. steel, shown here on Shinbro. <laughs> the shin the shin oh, uh, for the, the eagle falconers singers, out there, we've nice. got an eagle companion. I know it's not a falcon, but you know. Uh, it's got uh, wings. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Amelie for the eagle companion signature. Mm -hmm. And then, once again, just to remind everybody, in case you forgot, uh, the Ezio Auditore hero skin. Oh, seen here in the U.S. HSDS possible. That's a weird number. Why, why, why that number, though? Show, I think what, what all that means. Cause I feel like ultra high def. Oh, is that what it means? Yeah, <laughs> that's it. I don't. We don't. You need could to do it that. after the show because I mm -hmm. feel foolish. Yeah, he's that's just okay. He's Ezio's never been so HD. He is is the Ezioist Ezio. I think. Yep. Like I think it looks yep. great, and, and I yeah, think a lot of that content's gonna look really good on that. Screen yeah. Too. Well, AC team can seethe because he's prettier in our game. Oh, <laughs> you said the thing. <laughs> no, uh, I'm supposed to say it loud. <laughs> no, no. I mean, the hero but, uh, skins are normally 25 anyway. It's only an uh, extra six here for you. Nolan yeah, hasn't seen him. You guys haven't I've seen him. Part. I've seen him. I picked him. So let's take a look at him. Oh yeah. Are you ready for this jelly? I I am always always ready. All right. <laughs> for the jelly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First up here, we've got the best part about Ocelot. Ghosty mode. Oh, Love it. oh, it gets oh, so much better. And this, I, I can't got, confirm, oh! this is the best thing to oh, do. Oh, not got like it. this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man, that is so, that's, that's got to be satisfied yeah. right there. Dis <laughs> dispensing Aztec justice. Oh, shit. Uh, I bet you never thought you'd see <laughs> Warden making some cookies. So we got we got domestic Warden there not Me. taking any shit from that dough. <laughs> 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 and then uh, I had to throw oh, this one out me. there. Oh, this is one of my favorite things to come out of the April Fool's. Uh, event is Japanese. just the wool intake. I don't want to see the don't Twitch chat, Japanese. actually. They speak Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, thought, I love the April Fool's. <gasps> and then what? this lovely pixel art uh, homage to the Last Hero Standing uh, game mode. That's Apparently cool. there was an uncolorized version, I'm guessing. I only saw the colorized one. I like the colorized version. <laughs> <It's nice. laughs> and then it's always nice when your teammates <laughs> know what oh, to do. No. Oh, I think we have... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and oh, it's gone man. in in the tank. So there you go. Uh, <sighs> if you uh, if you want a shot at getting your videos featured on the den, uh, just post them on the subreddit uh, or social media and tag us. Uh, it's always fun to go through them every month and see uh, and see what's out there. Um, it, it's it's just great because it, our community is so good at creating clips, art. Uh, cosplay, all of that, and so I, I was apparently wanna... making cookies too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We gotta see. We gotta you gotta, you gotta put all the rage Talk to into the Vanessa cookie. about a new idea for unique execution yeah. on Warden now, just to smash. The My thing. favorite thing is you take the ball of dough and you fuck it at the at the pan, the and I'm like, do. yeah, uh, every time. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna try that next time. Yeah, that's why I'm chill at work. It's... <laughs> um, <laughs> so. Okay. Um, uh, uh, that's not all, though. I think we got we got that's, more. That's right, right. Uh, folks. Uh, don't forget too. Uh, arcade mode now free for everybody. Uh, so no excuse not to play. Check it out. So uh, starting today, we have a new arcade event, uh, the Messengers of Doom. The doomy, 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 doom. Now and it's for everybody. So go check it out and play it. Uh, also this weekend, starting tomorrow, we have an event order, the Medic <laughs> Challenge. So be the faction with Cookies the most allies revived. Hard. So again, <laughs> keep an eye out for me and please pick me up. I promise to do better. Next Finally, time. I can get revived when I left bumper. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely a Yeah, it was a good then pop help, star. Help, I agree. Help. Not it was, helped. A, it was no a good revive. one. Just respawn. Just just <laughs> just be this, better. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with this it. This is the way. But Medic Challenge changes that. It does. Hopefully. Yes. Sometimes. Please. Please. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, so what else we got here? Uh, so yeah, we have the Assassini et, uh, et Templari uh, week one. So Assassini et Templari. Assassini. We practiced this, and I still <laughs> messed it up. So anyway, uh, but yeah, so we have uh, three weeks of event awards coming up. So the first one uh, will be running uh, from April 26th to the 29th. So that's next week uh, after the launch of the season. So keep an eye out for that. All right. Yeah. And I think that's it now. I do believe that, I do believe that is it now. Okay. Uh, so thank you everyone at home uh, quick reminder don't forget to follow us here on Twitch like some of you aren't it's Twitch. strange uh, but also on social media we've got our Twitter at For Honor Game Instagram at For Honor Game and if you if you like TikTok and you like For Honor follow the Ubisoft TikTok because that's where we post our TikToks amazing uh, I think that's it for this week so amazing. we will see all of you next time on the next Warriors Den but stick around because uh, we're going to do a surprise raid on Mr. Sheep <gasps> Live if he's, if he's still online so hopefully he is and if so he's going to get raided if not <laughs> <laughs> anyway we'll see you guys on the battlefield sweet let's see Mr. Beast uh, see Mr. Beast <laughs> take care of yourselves stay oh, hydrated not so much of a surprise <laughs> yo what I was about to end I guess we're gaming more then. Okay, well then. Oh, he was uh, going to end what? it, but now he's got to stay. <laughs> well then. You ain't going nowhere, son. <laughs> okay. Bro, I was about to end. No, I was about to end. What? Okay then. Uh... Well, good thing I didn't end during the community segment then. <laughs> well then. I want to see the raid. Okay. That's. Um, and then I'm going to go something. and eat some food. Thank you, fellas. Hey, much love, man. Right, let's. Uh, is Frona going to start? There we go. Wait, so what oh, buffs the one game? Longer, high Prama? Yeah, High Prama after like Bash. Okay. So after the bash, when you do like either lights well, or yeah, zone I'm, or heavy, they they have eye problems. I, I was about to end, but I mean, shit, we're really getting longer then. Well then, we happy about it. Uh, pretty happy about it. Something interesting. Mm. Oh, I guess we're uh, giving uh, longer then. Uh, if Frona when I get captured, I mean the Shadow Lona, I did it. All right. Uh, give me a second. It's uh, apparently he doesn't want to game capture. Very nice. I appreciate. Hello. Um. There we go. You should no appreciate you guys. Did they didn't. Thank me. you for nope. a good stream. Um. I always appreciate you guys hanging out uh, during the Warriors Den. So. So yeah, I better go and change that clickbait thumbnail now. <laughs> Change that clickbait. No, I'm okay. No, Ed, they owe me. They they owe me now. Oh, damn. Okay, I'll have to change it in a minute. I got you, baby. Yeah. No rage. I'll have to open Photoshop. Simon, thank you very much for following. Change it now. Is there rage? They baited me. No rage. GG. Wait, did they? Where's Where's the rage? Man. I got ra I got baited. Yeah, Brian owns me one. Ra Where's the raid? Brian owns me one. GG. And then... Uh, the Wait, they ended it. They didn't raid. <laughs> what? <laughs> what an enemy. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, Grumble. And the raid. Yeah. I got pranked. Sorry, oh, they didn't raid him. They bite. They bite. I got pranked hard. I I guess we're doing some duos anyways. No. Thank you very much, Hey. No, they didn't like raid. Super, you got him hurt. Enjoy the most numbers points and a few. Yeah. Ah, they must have just made a mistake. Actually but baited, dude. Holy. I think they, they must have fucked up the raid. No, everyone go to Mr. Sheep. We ball our noise. Mr. Really Sheep really live. Oops, Twitch TV, Mr. Uh, Sheep. Hey, come on. Show him some love, man. Oh, he literally just booted his game up to play the game some more because he was getting raided. <laughs> go, go, go to his stream and say hello, guys. No, the end of the stream. Yeah, go go say hello to to sheep, man. I, I'll catch you guys at some other time, you, okay? Uh, Ruby. I got Love Brian. you all, man. Catch you I later. Shout out though, GG. Brian needs to stop pranking me. Welcome everyone from the For Honor stream. Make sure to stay cordial. Also, make sure to type L in chat for the fucked up raid.
French guy out. <laughs> Don't be like that, Beros. Thank you. Oh, no. Raid fainted. They actually fainted the raid 